Now I'll talk about another concept in networks called clustering. The idea of clustering is to measure the extent to which, if you are a node, to what extent are your friends also friends of one another. So let's define clustering with respect to a particular node, V. It's the fraction of pairs of neighbors that are connected to one another. For example, look at this node here. It has two neighbors, and its neighbors are connected to each other. So its clustering is one. All of its neighbors are connected to each other. So the fraction of pairs of neighbors that are connected to each other is one. Whereas for this node, it has three neighbors, but not all of its neighbors are connected to each other. These two are connected, but this one is not connected to its other neighbors. Well, mathematically, we know that if a node V has k sub V neighbors, there are k sub V times k sub V minus 1 over 2 pairs of neighbors. If you're not mathematically inclined, you don't have to worry about how this is derived. Just believe it. In terms of this, we define c sub V as the fraction of all the possible pairs that are linked. So let's look at that. For this node, it only has one neighbor. And so by definition, if you only have one neighbor, your clustering is zero, since you don't have any pairs of neighbors. This node has three neighbors. This one, this one, and this one. OK, so that means that it has 3 times 2 over 2 pairs of neighbors, possible pairs. That equals 3, 6 over 2. But only one of its pairs of neighbors is linked. That is, it's missing links between this pair of neighbors and this pair of neighbors. So only one out of the three possible pairs are linked. So its clustering is one-third. As we said before, the clustering with respect to this node is one because its two neighbors have a link between them. So all possible pairs of neighbors are linked to this node. This one, similar to this one, has one-third, zero. It has two neighbors, but they're not linked. So none of its possible pairs of neighbors are linked. And similarly, this one only has one neighbor, so it doesn't have any pairs of neighbors. So its clustering is 0. And now we can define the clustering coefficient of the entire network, which is simply the average clustering with respect to each node. So the clustering coefficient, the average C sub V over all nodes, so we add up these and divide by the number of nodes, and we get that the clustering coefficient is 0.278. Now we can contrast a network like this one with a network like this that's completely connected. That is, every node is connected to every other node. So everybody's friends are also friends with each other. And with that, you get a clustering coefficient of 1. Or a network like this one, in which each node is connected to two other nodes, but none of the pairs of neighboring nodes are connected. And this one has a clustering coefficient of 0. The clustering coefficient can be indicative of things like how long it takes information to travel from one part of a network to another, or also how badly the system will fall apart if one node is deleted. Let's stop here for a quick quiz on clustering.